literally not a single soul on campus right now. A day in the life of a pharmacy student right here. Not a single soul on this campus. It's actually crazy. This is actually like crazy. This is what it's like. <laughs> Robert, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm okay. How are you today? I'm doing well. Um, so you are the quiz, correct? Yeah, I completed my quiz already. Okay, great. Perfect. So let's get started. Um, I, um, let me start by giving a quick introduction um, and then we can go through all three prescriptions, okay? Mm -hmm. so Okay, so we just finished that class, which was actually not bad, because my new, new professor is pretty cool. Who she's for to NYU and stuff like that, and she has like really a lot of clinical experience. So that was a good overall class, and I'm so happy because I was actually first to do the class. So usually, like it's like um, each person has their own counseling time, so like you based on what time you get. So like the class is from two to like five, I think it is or something like that, and basically you can get any of those like six times in the day, so like 2 o'clock, uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 4, uh, 3.30, 4 .30, 4 o'clock. So I got first, so I was able to get out of there quickly, and then also the fact that like, you know, when you always go first, you get like better grade usually, so hopefully that pans out well for me, because the other person's not like super tired, or she doesn't like pick up other people's mistakes. They're like new to it kind of thing, and, and then once again, the groove into things, and they realize what you're doing wrong, it's like, oh, like this person didn't do what the last person did. But like, yeah, so, um, <laughs> so that was good. So now I'm gonna rest my day, I'm gonna just work out, and I'm gonna study for my test, which is gonna be coming up soon. So let's get into it. Okay, what's going on people? I'm back with making another video. I've made a video in a couple of days now. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm up to recently. Basically, uh, well, last week we literally went through like three different finals. Not three finals, three tests. One was a final, one was a regular exam that was one third of the grade, and one was a quiz. So now we're just basically just trying to catch up on the study material because I've really been lacking all week. So today is going to be basically just a study fully all day. Uh, today I got a lot of things done. I worked out this morning, did my morning routine, uh, cleaned my room, uh, basically set up all my, my meals the rest of the day, except for dinner. So I usually, when I, when I say all day, I usually make up my entire meals for the day. So I have my like um, breakfast right here, I have my lunch, and I have my dinner, not my dinner, my snack. So like peanut butter jelly sandwiches, my egg omelet, and then I also have uh, my breakfast with uh, a good uh, protein shake right here. So let's just get a goal. And then today I have to also get my immunization done, which is uh, what we have to do every single year if you're a pharmacy major or like a health professions major. The main thing you have to do is that you have to constantly get uh, every year the background check and you have to get a yearly physical exam to make sure you're able to actually uh, do clinical rotations. So I'm doing clinical rotations, hopefully either winter break or spring, hopefully. So right now that's the main goal, and so I have to get this thing tested, my uh, tuberculosis skin test, and I got it done Thursday at um, Jersey, so I'm gonna have to go here in Queens today, and I have to hopefully get hopefully the CMD can accommodate me, cause you have to get it done within the first two to three days of it getting tested, and it's been like roughly about two days, so hopefully they can take me. If not, I have to do it again, and then for my school I have to do it twice, so that really sucks. If I did again twice. So yeah, that's the main goal. Um, we got everything done so far today. Right now I'm gonna be planning out my day, making sure I have all the things I wanna execute on, and I usually put it in order from chronological order. So yeah, let's get done. I forgot to say that. After I finish my chronological order, we're gonna go to school. 
uh, not go to school. We're gonna go to CMD and then we'll go to school, study basically all day. And then based on that, I'll see how much the rest of my day is going. And that will help me determine how like far behind I am or not. Especially because tomorrow is Monday and Monday is my hardest day. So I have three classes back to back to back basically. And two of them are really, really uh, content based heavy. And one of them I have to go in person to school for my labs. Well, actually, I have four classes because the lab actually is two classes. And I have two quizzes. So I'm probably going to go over the material quickly about those two as well. And I'll talk about you guys after I finish scheduling my day and see what I have to do. Okay, so we just finished up um, getting it tested. And you can see by my arm. You guys can see it. It shows nothing's there. And it shows like basically my band-aid. So basically that's a good sign that um, I'm negative. So I have to come back next week for this thing again. And I haven't even started studying yet. Right now it's only around um, almost about one o'clock. So I'm gonna walk back to school. Uh, we can hope we can get some work done basically. That's the main goal, get some work done. And yeah, so yeah, the main goal is just gonna be going back to school, getting some work done, and hopefully I can get something done at all because I feel like I haven't done anything all day, but I actually got a fair amount of things done, just haven't done anything for school yet. So that's the only problem I have sometimes that I feel like I never get any school work done, but like outside of school, I feel like I get a lot of other things done, <laughs> but doesn't really, you can't really see it though. Okay, so now we're officially on campus now. And basically, we're gonna just be. I looked at my entire schedule and I listed all my classes and everything. And I think it's the main important thing I do a lot of times is like making sure that you have all your classes set up for the tests so that you have a lot of quizzes. So, all I have to do tomorrow really is just take care of my two quizzes for lab, and that's pretty much it. And I have to just go to class and just take over some things. So, I'm actually very, very excited because this week I have basically just two quizzes and that's it the entire week. I have no exams until next week where I have two. So that kind of sucks, but it's not as bad as it usually is. So I'm very excited. And that means that today I don't have to really strain too hard about like studying as much. I usually just maybe go to like, maybe like four or five hours of studying, which is pretty good. So that means that I can just like take the night off tonight and like relax a little bit. Um, so basically I'm just gonna go over some topics and just try to understand topics as well. Cause like not everything has to be constantly about memorizing things. Sometimes like you just take like a week off, like this week right now, I'm just gonna focus more on just trying to make sure I understand certain things and like make sure like I have a general idea what's going on in case someone asks me. I'm not gonna focus too much on actually recalling things straight off the bat. And then later on in the week, once the uh, next test comes in next week, I'm gonna start trying more into trying to do more memorization, quizlets, um, and flashcards so that way I can actually memorize things very rapidly uh, when the test comes up. So yeah. So this is going to be a good week, um, and it's a good day today actually because I don't have to actually have a quiz or any stress related things coming up. I just have one quiz, I need two quizzes, which are going to be fairly decently easy as long as I go over the material which I have here, my notion, and I just got to go over some problems, and that's pretty much it. So I should be out of here by at least 8 o'clock very, very easily. Right now it's around 4 o'clock. So yeah, let's get right into it, and I'll catch you guys once we get home. Okay, so we just finished up um, studying for right now. So currently it's around seven o'clock, so I'm gonna head home right now. Honestly, I just finished studying like a broad like overview of everything. And I can already tell that this is gonna be probably the worst subject of studying. We're doing right now cancer, like or neoplastic disease. And it literally has so many drugs and so many things in it that like, I feel like this is probably gonna be the worst D&D I ever had. <laughs> So I can already tell that like I'm gonna be studying all week straight. So <laughs> I hope you guys prepare for me studying all day straight. And 
this thing looks, I only did the pharmacology portion of it, not even the other portions yet. And I can, it's literally four slides straight. And the first time it was fine, but then you go into the nausea part, the vomiting part, the hormones, and this overall just chemotherapy and radiation. That thing is a lot of different drugs, a lot of different reasons for using different drugs because chemotherapy and cancer drugs, they already use a lot of different drugs in the first place. So you have to also manage the symptoms that come with the uh, cancer as well as symptoms of the uh, chemotherapy or radiation or that you're gonna do, which is a lot of things. So yeah, this is gonna be a rough week. I thought it was gonna be an easy week just because of the fact that we'd have a quiz or test. But I can already tell that the amount of information that's in it is going to be enough for me to get. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a long week anyway. So yeah, we're just going to head home right now, finish up our uh, eat dinner, and then uh, hopefully it can start again tomorrow. Literally not a single soul on campus right now. A day in the life of a pharmacy student right here. Not a single soul on this campus. It's actually crazy. This is actually like crazy. This is what it's like. <laughs>